Hello, and welcome back to Control. Uh, man, I, uh, I needed a break, and now I'm feeling a lot better. I hope you guys had a decent break and came back feeling refreshed, because we're about to get back into it. Uh, so Jesse just finished uh, going to the communications sector and picked up the, um, the hotline. Ati, the custodian. Yeah, we're supposed to head to the uh, maintenance sector now uh, because apparently we can go there to lift the lockdown so we can get to other sectors and get the old director's team together because they seem to have uh, an idea of what's going on here. So let's go and find the custodian. Like I said before, the janitor is a friendly face. I don't know. It, they're making it seem like he's the secret villain here. Pony. <laughs> Equip weapon mods to increase the efficiency of the surface weapons forms. I already did in, like install some weapon mods. Uh, let's see. How the we do here? The sector is the janitor domain. If I can find Ati here, he can help me reach the override. Maybe it was you who got me into the oldest house with the lockdown on. Maybe it was Ati. It felt like he made the elevator appear that took me to Trench's office. Is Ati guiding me too? That's right. He did say, oh, the elevator is over there. You can take it to talk to the director for the interview. I wonder how many people he's done this to. Because what if we're not the first? Wouldn't that be something, guys? Oh, we gotta go that way. I'm sure of it. Clearance level 2. Oh, maybe I should have gone around and looked around um, earlier parts of the game. Because uh, we, we ran across a few places that required... Uh, clearance level one. Now we're at level two. We already have clearance level one. And a seek. Oh, we don't know anything in here. Okay. Ventilation, janitor's office, sector elevator. All right. Can't get in the control room. It's fine. The directorial override is right there in the control room. How do we get there? Yeah, this is not going to be easy. Yeah, I imagine all of those guys are going to come to quote unquote life and start taking pot shots at us. You just know it. I mean, look, we got to get in there. This is so cool. The reflections on the glass here. If you guys haven't upgraded your computer to play a, a newer game like this, you guys are missing out. Alright, we're in it now. We're in it now. Alright. Shoot! Oh no! We're out! Whoa, 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 whoa. Ugh. Ah! Ah! You lose 10% of your source every time you die? Guys. Ugh. This is gonna kill me. This is gonna kill me. Sorry about that, guys. Um... The game crashed on me, and I had to force quit out of it and restart. But yeah, as I was saying, uh, that tooltip for the game, that's going to kill me, guys. Uh, I'm not very good at these type of games, so I can foresee myself dying a lot and to lose 10% every time. Like, yeah, 10% of, of a dwindling 
an amount will be override is right there in the control room will be less and less every time there? but it's still a thing So what form are we using now? It looks like we're using the pistol form. Let's use the shotgun form. stuff. Throw. Kaboom. Get the kabooms in. Kaboom. Get the kabooms. Kaboom. Kaboom. Shotgun blast. Let's go. Boom. Headshot. Or not headshot. I don't know. Whoa. All right. Oh, cool. We got a checkpoint. Okay. Cleanse the control point. Yes, please. Fix the room. Back to normal. Yeah, boy. All right. Uh, okay. I guess we're heading to the janitor's office. I'll switch back to the pistol form. It's cool. You can kind of see it change. Like, see, it's like a pistol right now in her right hand. And then we switch it. And it looks more like a shotgun. It doesn't look like a shotgun. More like a sawed off. Like, really, really sawed off shotgun, I guess. But otherwise, like a kind of a fat pistol. I'm going to. Uh, yeah, I'm going to use the pistol for now. Wait, are we going to get into it again? Alright, not that I can tell yet. Whoa! Alright. Whoa, whoa. These guys. Okay, load the ammo. Take them out. There's more guys over here. This guy is the Spectral Forces. Whoa! Whoa, 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 where'd you come from? Oh, jerk face! Where? Is that all of them? I think he threw a grenade or something. Whoa. Not cool, my dude. Whoops. Uh, I guess that was not a good idea. Uh, trying to blow up these tanks. I guess that isn't a thing. <laughs> nope, no, that, that's not a good idea. Let me go replenish my health. It's right here at the control point. Yep, it's still a thing. Okay, cool. Alright, astral constructs. What have we got? Oh, the weapon mods. Uh, we can't upgrade. It's too bad. Um, no, oh, we can upgrade the, the grip. So we just need extra ritual impulse and more source. So that's what this thing is called, source. All right, well. Let's get on it, doggone it. All right, uh, let's come down the steps. Anything in here? Hidden? 
All right, so destroying boxes is not a thing. It's not Legend of Zelda. They're not vases. Vases. I ain't trying to be fancy. I'm just trying to be right. Okay, where are we going? Uh, let me check the map. Looks like we're heading straight that way. So let's just check out the surrounding. Now that it's cleared out. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Pick up. Energy recovery personal mod. Oh, threshold remnant. Was there anything up here? Nope. Okay, let's check downstairs. Come on, Jessa. Anything of use? Alright, I guess we'll head back upstairs. And we'll continue on. Janitor's office. Alright, find Ati the, the janitor. Can't go that way. What's down that way? Yeah, what is down that way? I don't know that I want to go there just yet. Ooh. What do we got? Ritual impulse. Nice. We needed that. I'm debating whether or not to go here first, or if I should go down that other way first. Maybe we should just check it out at least. New mission, a merry chase. Oh, so this is a different mission. Let's do this thing first. I guess we have our choice about what we want to do. Hello, Ati? You having a party? Well done. You Thank got you. The job. I guess so. Place for congratulations. Yippee, Satana. What it happened in the last drop? I truly need an assistant. To clean this place Funny up? Anything is. I've been a janitor. I'm more at home in that role than as the director. Only Ati here seems to see that. Yeah, hi, Ati. Look, we need to get the lockdown lifted. Otherwise, I can't get to the other sectors. Can you help me get to the override? Yes, yes. Easy yes. peasy. <laughs> it's just around the corner. But first, we need to get you working. Very small couple of hours job. Something tells me it's going to be more than that. I agree. Uh, yeah, ha, ha, ha. You think there's a dog buried in this? I can tell you are not the yesterday's Krause's son. That's why you make a great assistant. Very Alrighty. Good. I'll hit the facts on the table. This house has a vermin problem. A bad one. Yeah, the they hiss. already messed up the cooling pumps. And the uh, power generators of a uh, power plant, Berkele. And the pensioner inside is starting to feel the pant around his head tight. Pensioner? The situation needs to be fixed before the plant blows up. And we all disappear like a fart in Sahara. Trying my best to keep up with this. Same. Fix the coolant pumps and the power generators, otherwise the power plant will blow. That's what I got. Oh, don't you worry. I've left you clear instructions. You'll catch the end of the threat before I go to my vacation. Of course it you works do. works on the task board here. You can do later, when you have time. 
vacation. Right. Yes, Owen's gonna cancel my holiday or seeds gonna rattle. But don't worry <laughs> at all. You'll take care of it and soon this crisis gonna be last winter snow. He once again you read our mind. Now, so you don't have to run with your head as your third leg. The door in the back leads to the plant. The door in the back. That's great. Thank you, Ati. So he just gave us a whole bunch of quests, I guess. Yeah, here's... Oh, we just grabbed it. Yep. Burn the dress. Throw Our... it in the fire. Burn it all. So, uh, let's see. We've got a bunch of new missions that we can choose to to do. Um, what, what did we get here? Energy recovery speed. Okay. I don't have an extra slot, so I don't do. I'm not doing that yet. Materials. We got ritual impulse. We got four of them. Threshold remnant. We got one of those missions. Here we go. So we are currently on directorial override, and we can do a merry chase. Jesse learns of another object of power, a merry-go-round horse below the break room. And then there's Ati's. What a mess, burn the trash. Jesse helps Ati by burning the trash piled up around the furnace in the maintenance sector. All right, oh, this is the one we just picked up. And then this one is the one he was just talking about. He said we can do this one later. So I guess we'll continue to track this one. Burn it into a reindeer, not into a moose. I believe he said this one goes to the um, power plant. Yes. But oh, there was another. There was another clearance level two door out this way. Let's head that way real quick. Whoa! These guys came back. Come on, go down, go down! Ugh. Whoa, more of them. Ugh. Take them out, take them out, take them out, take them out, take them out. Alright, where... Ah, 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 ah! How come you can shoot through the grate, but I can't? Not fair, not fair, not fair, not fair. That is totally not cool. I give you my disapproval. We're full. Where was this level two door? Oh. It feels like something's coming up. Control room. What is... Okay, so this wasn't the level two door. Here we go. Open. Thank you. Let's see. We've got something here. Book Club. Lopez. Alright. Unless you. Review by Captain Lopez. These days, most young adult novels intertwine the coming-of-age story with either a contrived dystopian setting or a tragic romance. Unless you manage to do both. <laughs> yeah, lately, so many of them. Hunger Games. Um, actually, all the other ones, I don't remember their names. They're, they weren't as popular. In the story, the protagonist and her love interest search for a cure to a virus called The Fix, which is simultaneously killing her and spreading across the whole world. To find the cure. They go on expeditions into dangerous, uncharted territories, 
The people all live in walled cities now because of dystopian future. And along the way, they just have to fall in love. I liked how we never got to know if the fix was ever actually fixed. The ending was bold, especially for young adults. The main character succumbs to the fix when she's so close to the cure and commands her love interest to go on and save the world. She knows this is the end for her, but that the jobs can still get done. She dies out in the unknown, alone, surrounded by danger, but never loses sight of the goal. That's a good soldier's death. I give this book 3 out of 5. I feel most of the teenage angst is a little lost on me, but I'd recommend it to my brother's kids. Yeah, I feel the same with a lot of those types of books, too. Weapon mod, low health boost. Uh, let me check that out, actually. Oh, it's a weapon mod. Okay. Oh, we don't have the mod for this thing. Damage while low on health. Plus 36. Uh, what do we have here? Animal refund. I think I'm going to change this to the low health boost. And this one, I think I'll add a projectiles fire two recoil ammo refund. Let's go with the additional projectiles. I feel like that's going to be a good thing. But hey, what do I know? I've never played this game other than what you've seen me play. Alright, let's go to the power plant. Alright, this thing's still under our control. Are we gonna see these a-holes yet again? Looks like we're okay. I guess the, uh, the story dump that happened there with Ati I guess that reset them. This is just my working hypothesis. Alright. Can I have a cup? I am the director after all. I, I deserve a coffee. Okay. Is this a... What clearance is this? Oh, I can open this one, too. Ventilation. Oh, this is where I came in. Okay, got it, got it. And this is just a new area. What do we got? Shatter recoil efficiency and launch efficiency. I honestly don't use the launch as much as I think I should. So I should probably... Okay, so what happens again if that thing blows up? Power. Explosion. Yeah, I got that. Too much. Director's duty. Keep the lights on. You gotta disappear, guy, because, uh... You taking over my view is not going to help me. Okay. I'm sure there's going to be a fight coming in. But... Escaped OOP. Arish. So this was the new mod. Energy launch cost. Oh, we got a new weapon mod. What was it? Shatter recoil efficiency, okay. And collectibles, correspondence, escape to OOP. An object of power escaped the Panopticon a couple of weeks ago, and they want everyone to keep an eye for it. So if anyone sees a merry-go-round horse zipping around the sector, alert me immediately. Do not try to contain it on your own, and definitely don't bind it to yourself. Your security chief, Simon Arish. You know that we find it, we're going to bind it, right? Because that's just what we're gonna do. Hotline, uh, North Moor. North Moor was director before me. I never wanted his job. I never wanted power. 
I purposefully avoided it. Didn't trust it. Didn't want to rely on it. Northmoor was all about power. A man like an explosion, hungry for authority, for order, for more. Until it was too much. I had to find a solution in the end. Contain the situation. Northmoor never liked me, but he went along with it, to his credit. He didn't really have a choice. I suppose at the end of the day, a director's most basic duty is to keep the lights on. Here's to you, Northmoor. There were no prime candidates waiting in the wings, but I was there. Had been the whole time, keeping my head down, working my ass off. I had nothing to lose. I picked up the gun almost on a dare. So it sounds like uh, the previous director didn't really do as much as uh, Trench felt like he needed to do. So he took matters into his own hands. And ultimately, um, yeah, he was director for a while. I don't know how long, but ultimately he ended up dying. But uh, maybe that was for the greater good at the end of the day. Uh-oh. No, it's a living guy. Okay, that's different. It's dangerous out here, lady. Go see Chief Arish. He's just inside. He'll help you. All right, let me just check the area real quick. See if I can grab anything. Because I imagine there's gonna be a big ass battle in here. You're all gonna die. And it's gonna be up to me. And having additional resources, like everything at my disposal basically, is gonna come in real handy. Ma'am, if you're here to help, you should speak with Chief Arish. He's in the security booth. Security booth, okay. Rule one of video gaming. Don't listen to what the NPCs tell you to do. Rule two, look at everything. Central maintenance. This is this looks like it's the central hub, I guess. Yeah. The power plant. That makes sense. Powers everything. You never know what you're gonna find. I mean, whether it be a collectible or uh, additional resources that you could use for upgrades. You should always check. At a minimum, just check. And so far, I've got nothing. Central maintenance. Do we have to open this door? Field training. Uh, no, that's not where we were, was it? We were in a different area, weren't we? Um... Yeah, we were in like... Oh, it wasn't... It wasn't maintenance at all. So this is all new. Okay. I was thinking that I could see the map into... Um... The executive area or whatever it was. Looks like there's nothing in this area. Maybe I should just go see Amish. Alright, disregard all the rules. Game has proved its point. And I believe... Whoa, whoa! Control point, okay. We're gonna want to do that, because when the battle hits... Oh, we're gonna have want to have this control point as a checkpoint. So let's do this. Come on, Jesse. There we go. There we go. 
right, now we've got fast travel. Can we construct this now? Oh, we can upgrade. Oh, we can construct spin. Spin has a generous magazine and high rate of fire. Best use and controlled bursts. Huh. Interesting. What? Huh. Generous magazine and high rate of fire. Best used in controlled bursts. So, I wonder what's better. It, it doesn't give any uh, specs. So, it makes me wonder what would be better. Alright, let's go see Arish. Open! Ma'am! Hey! Chief Arish, FBC Security. Should okay. you be in a safe room? I'm not that type of director. I'm all hands on. Let's see, correspondence. Arish, security matters. Hey, Simon, I got your message. Yeah, if someone in the dissector is asking about Ati, just tell them you'll handle it and I'll leave it at that. Under no circumstances should any personnel intervene with his day-to-day -day routine. I told you everything I know about him, so you could be, you could better deal with his odd habits. But yes, it's still very much a classified matter. So there is something going on with him. He is more important than, uh, than people would know, because this is from Salvador. He's the, the head of uh, security, or so, I, I believe he's head security. Uh, and he knew stuff, and he's saying that the the janitors like don't mess with him. Also, I saw your report about the quarry worker who wandered into the fountain. Detaining him was the right move. We'll figure out what he saw before we decide on next steps. Cheers, Lynn. P.S. In case you hadn't noticed, something is up between Trench and Darling. I know this isn't your strong suit, but try to work try to your best to stay out of it. Oh, so he's a nosy guy, is he? Alright, so we put our weapon away, so this area is safe for now. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Here we go. Explore your area. Threshold remnant. Okay, cool. Let's talk to you. They all have HRAs. Good for you guys. We're on the same side. Yes, we are. My name is Jesse Faden. I'm here to perform the directorial override to get the lockdown lifted. Yeah, yeah. Chief Arish, FBC Security. I'm just... Oh, hang on. You're the new director. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's a pleasure, ma'am. Let's skip the formalities, please. Let's. Right. Faden, ma'am. Look, as you can probably tell, uh, it's a bit of a shit show down here. You We've think? we our ground, but whatever's gotten into our buddies has them wrecking the coolant pumps and the power converters. The NSC keeps overheating, and my crews keep getting shot before they have a chance to make any repairs. And that's where we come in. NSC? Oh, sorry. <laughs> Bureau jargon. It's what we call the power plant. You know, the uh, big rumbling metal thing? <laughs> yeah, I noticed uh, it. Salvador had a security asked me to protect it in case of an attack. See, what's inside is dangerous. Dr. Darling seemed to know it would be a target. Darling? He's here? No, he came down a few days ago, before everything went to hell. Of course he's he did. out of it. He smelled like a bar mat. He was ranting about vulnerabilities and how he only had one large-scale HRA, but that he needed it somewhere else. Uh-oh. Still, at least he gave us these personal HRAs before he left. That is hey, definitely foreshadow. His off? <laughs> <laughs> Tearing his clothes off. Darling knew the hiss was coming. Listen. I love playing 20 questions as much as the next guy, but we have got to get the water and electrical systems repaired before this baby blows. Yeah, got I'll it. I'll have my guys unlock the doors out of here for you. Thank I'll you. I'll take care of it. You stay and keep the hiss away from the plant if you can. The hiss? That's what we're calling it? Yep. Oh, that's catchy. Oh, listen, it, the it radio's works. not working, so if you find my boss Salvador out there, could you please ask him what the plan is? I'm sure he will have one by now. I'll keep an eye out for him. He sure has a lot of faith in his boss. Yeah, he does. But apparently Trench did too. Fix the NSC coolant pumps. Fix the NSC energy converters. Okay. Yeah. She knows, okay buddy? She knows. Alright, so we're heading in this direction. Oh. Ah, okay. Now they've spawned. 
All right. We are definitely heading in this direction, though. And toss it at you. Take you out. And take you. And... Yep. Take him out. Take him out, Jesse. You got this. You go, girl. Oh, this guy. Don't let him sh throw things at you. Uh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Melee. Punch him. All right. Oh, that guy is not moving. All right, that guy's down. He wasn't as tough as the boss. Punch! Boom! Who else? All right, that's it. All right. That room's open, but I think there's another door here. Elevator. Huh. It looks like I'm supposed to go this way. This door... Uh, let's just check what's over on this side. Energy computers. Guess maybe this might be another area. I think I'm hearing them. Yep. Run, run. Get the ammo. Shoot him, shoot him, shoot him. Headshot. Ah, punch. Woo. Power cut. Replace the parts. All right. We cleanse the point. Okay. So, looks like this was an additional area, but we were able to cleanse it. Which I think is a good thing. But Ati was saying something about replacing the parts, and uh, I guess we can't go through this way. But we can fast travel here, so this will be good for future endeavors. So it wasn't all for nothing. And it's showing the fast travel point, it looks like. So that's cool. All right. Oof. Just hold together a little longer. Yeah. We're getting there. We're getting there. We're getting there. We're going. Elevator. This goes to control room and power plant. Level one is power plant. That's where we are. Control room. Black rock quarry. Are we not in the right area? Looks like it's locked, so maybe this isn't the right area. Uh, it's tough to read this map. I'm not sure. Is it? Oh, is there something here? No. Never mind. What's? What's the? What's on the map? Looks like there's something here. Uh, I can't tell. Uh, 
obviously this isn't the area that I need to be in. Energy converters was not it. Central maintenance? Um, uh, I'm not sure about that. All right, here we go. NSC coolant pumps. All right, do we have more of these guys? I'm sure we do. Right, we've got a control point here. Let's go ahead and claim it. Oh, this is the one we had already. My dude. Alright, so coolant pumps. This way. Oh, there it is. Coolant pumps. I see the, uh, the sign. Do we have any assholes around? Yes, we do. What the hell are you? They're explosive. Ah, stay away from me. They're suicide bombers. Did we get, get, did we get them all? No, we did not. Get out of here. Get out of my face. Get out of my face. Dude, stop with this. I've had enough. Oh, I left the area, that's why. Okay, uh, let me switch to the sh shotgun version. Okay. Alright, now we'll take it from here. Kabooms. Kabooms. Kabooms for you. Kabooms for you. And for you. Out of here, kabooms, 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 jackalopes, woo, eat it. Ah, <sighs> health recovery, shatter recoil. That took a little doing, as you saw. Got it, though. All right, let's go through the door. Ah, 
All right. All right, power plant, coolant pumps, furnished chamber. All right, there's going to be a fight in here. Oh, this is the area we saw earlier. With those guys, they were just... chilling. Okay. What? They just disappeared. Oh, here we are. Here we are. Got you. Whoa, 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 whoa. These assholes again. Go down. Go down. Nope. Nope. I do not want a part of that. I hate this guy, too. Screw this guy. All right, let's get the control point. Get the control point. Woo! Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. Got that. Whoa. Let me see if any of these board countermeasures have been... Nope. Yeah, so I don't have pierce mode or spin mode. And I didn't take shots with the executive sector. Don't have charge mode. And we're not in the executive sector, so this, none of this applies. All right, um, let me exit this, see if we have any... Yeah, we got some stuff here. Let's see. This is new. Health recovery, 20%. We've got energy recovery. This is only on pickup, though. We have to pick things up. Okay. And this, this one's the straight health. All right, I think I'm going to stick with the energy. This is 20%. This is... 16%. This is energy boost. I think recovery is better. Oh, I can deconstruct. I've got two fives. Uh, I guess I'll leave them for now. 22, 20, 20, 16. Oh, this health boost. Okay. I think I'll keep everything for now. Looks like we have a little room to hold mods. It looks like there is a limited amount of space though, so I'm gonna have to keep that in mind. Uh, we've got weapon mods. What have we got? This is new. Uh, recoil efficiency. Uh, weapon armor damage. Damage against enemy armor. Ooh, that sounds good. Uh, I think I prefer that. Spin grouping efficiency, exclusive to spin. So let's let's equip this for now. Collectibles. Let's see. Hiss charged. Yep, these are the explodey guys. The hiss charge agents are examples of extreme physical deformation resulting from hiss corruption. Hiss charged display an unthinking fixation on any non-corrupted individuals in the area. Once within a specific proximity, they erupt into a burst of focused hiss resonance so dense that it acts as a physical force. The hiss charged is depleted of the hiss corruption after this eruption. The host is left lifeless. This behavior may be an adapted response to the HRAs. The hiss charged are designed to blow the devices off potential hosts, exposing them to the resonance. Is the Hiss capable of customizing a corrupted host ab altered ability to this degree? Why is the physiology of the Hiss charge so dramatically different from the host's original form? Lots of questions, no answers. Refer to the file, redacted, for full report. Jeez. Yeah, those, those things? 
Huh. Blah. Blah. All right. And I wonder why I don't have the option for outfits at this one. That's fine. You know what? I think we're going to call it a day on this one. Um, I feel like I did a better job going through it on this one just because I was being more careful and not going in all Rambo, Guns Akimbo, and also we didn't have a boss, so that also helped. But for now, I think we're good. And next time, we'll go into it and hopefully have at least as good of a, of a run. So I hope to see you next time. And until then, bye.